Okay, we're gonna try this again. Apparently I lost my signal before and it didn't archive, so we're gonna try this again. <laughs> Whatever I need to pay. Did you see the back? No, I haven't. It's amazing. No, I haven't seen the back. It's amazing. As soon as you start a chant, I want the chant go up to this. Go in real quick for me. We got to fight back! For our children! We got to fight back! For our generation! We got to fight back! For our children! 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 We got to fight back! For our children!
peace. We got to fight back. For our land. We got to fight back. For our land. We got to fight back. Space, so it'll be 
Don't walk fast, slow down. Return to the right. Good job, baby.
Are you Darren Wilson?
24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let me tell you something. Listen up. This is how long Mike Brown was laying on the ground. And they act like that. Listen up. And they act like they don't understand why we are here. We are here because our human rights are being violated. We want the world to know. We're talking to the international world now. How Clayton is the ISIS on black folks. We don't have to look around the world for ISIS. ISIS is right here on black folks. Right. I, I can't hear you. I said ISIS is right here. Right here. ISIS is in Clayton. ISIS is in Clayton. We don't have to look for ISIS. Right here. Right here. Right here. Make sure he see us. We got some demands. Okay? We got some demands. Okay, we got to understand that uh, this struggle is a protracted struggle. And uh, we're for a united stand that we'll receive our justice in our lifetime. So uh, we just want to encourage everybody that is out here today. Tomorrow, bring five of your friends with us as we go through Ferguson. And we got to understand that the Department of Justice report on Ferguson outlines a criminal enterprise that was taking place with the mayor involved, the police chief. There was a criminal involvement, and all of those officers who were unfairly targeting our people need to be fired immediately. And the money that they have received from the fines from the people ought to be given back to the people. Yeah! United we stand, United we fall. Brother David, where's David at? United we stand, United we fall. Brother David, listen to me, everybody. Two things. Tomorrow, this brother has a beautiful center. Where's the Timothy Major Center, brother? Listen, oh, well, everybody listening up now. I'm David Royal, we're talking about the center of hope and peace. We are talking about the center of hope and peace. It's located at 1826 Chambers. It's directly next door to Greater St. Mark's Church. This is the official meeting place for every time that we gather, including today and tomorrow. Tomorrow after our gathering, we'll be selling barbecue and Pedina there so that we can network and start figuring out our plans going forward. Same thing for today. The Center of Hope and Peace, directly next door to Greater St. Mark's Church. Okay, so what I want to do is, young brother, they got, they got a building that's a beautiful building that we're going to start. You can be the old storm and stuff, okay? It's the old storm and stuff. I need us tomorrow. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Today, what we're doing is going to a five star restaurant. We're going to go out to the five star restaurant, Indian restaurant, 
If tw five star Indians, read this for me, sir. One, two, three, one, five, Natural Bridge Road in Bridgeton. Oh, I know. One, two, three, one, five, Natural Bridge Road, Bridgeton. Ten dollars all day, lunch special. And this is the black owned restaurant because we want to make sure that we support the our own, okay? So that's important. Now that's what we're going to do today. After we leave and after we break up, everybody's going over there. But tomorrow, I want to really yeah. y'all understand what this y'all going to get the is doing and how important this school is and how all this activity is for young people because we got to deal with our young people. Amen. And you need a, it's a vehicle here, yes, sir. I need a train. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. I need the train. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's another button. See, my manual chair, you can just throw my manual how chair in anyone's man? car. All right. right. I said, how y'all doing? All right. Black man. I'm stuck on the train. I just want to say, I, I love black people. I love black people. I love black people. We love black people. We love black people. I love black people. And I mean all black people. Black. Homeless black people. Drug dealing black people. Gang black people. Black people. Black people. Single black mother. I love all black people. Black people that go to failing schools. I love all my black people. Oh. And I think when we say Black Lives Matter, we have to understand what that really means. Oh my We're trying to fill this gap that the system has not filled for us. So when we're walking through Clayton, and Brother Shaheen say it's 17 banks, that means they get banks. We get 17 tech cash in places. That's right. We don't get no banks. That means when you look at Mike Brown Jr. in the street, he went to Norman. That means it's if you come out to Clayton, yeah, they get a fully accredited school. That's right. Our kids get unaccredited school. Right. We don't have no money for books. We ain't got no money for balls. They don't want us to hoop our way out. They don't want us to read our way out. Right. They ain't supplying nothing for us. Right. It's no different from 55 years ago in South Africa. That's right. Southfield's massacre. It was a youth rebellion. College students, high school students left their school to go on the street. The same, the same police that kills us over here, killed them over there. Right. He called it segregation, he oh, called it apartheid. Right. It's no different. That's right. They have, they have truck stops over there. You can't, same way in Ferguson. If you try to leave Canfield, you try to leave Northwoods and try to get some groceries, you had to have your ID or some mail. Yes, sir. That's right. 55 years ago in South Africa, it was the same invisible truck stop. We had to have our ID in Ferguson, just like they had to do in South Africa. That's right. That's right. That's right. I want to say, I want everybody to repeat after me. Say, I love, I love black people. Black people. Say, I love, I love black people. Black people. I love, I love black people. Black people. I love, I love black people. Black people. Three brother Ali. I love black people. Black people. Now, uh, you are another one of the people. Now, we have elected coming up. Knowledgeable of the people who, you need to be knowledgeable of the people who are running for office in your, in your district. And you need to be sure that you can hold them accountable for what it is they say they're going to do in your community. They want us to play this game. They want us to believe we're going to get justice by electing the officials we want to see. But that's not a guarantee they're going to get to all of the people we want them to do. So we need to not only put pressure on people in Clayton, but we need to be putting pressure on people in office. We need to right, put pressure right. on people in your in your ward, on your aldermen. They have meetings every Friday at 10 a.m. at City Hall. Put pressure on them. Say that again, Sister Please. There's right. the Board of Aldermen meeting every Friday at City Hall at 10 a.m. You need to put pressure on them. You need to be pushing, putting pressure on all of our elected officials because as far as they're concerned, all we're doing is walking around in the streets. We're not in the, we're not worried about the politics. We're not worried about these small individuals who also affect us. But we need, we also need to focus on that as well. <coughs> Being a part of the Black Panther Party, we are a political party, and that is very much a fashion that we are, very, that we are concerned about. So while, we're, so while they want us to play this game, we will play it, we will play it right. I'm not getting it. Na, 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 na. All right, uh, we're going to get ready to keep on marching. We want to reemphasize that uh, uh, to bring out five people to uh, uh, Marchwood uh, Park in Ferguson, AO6 Ferguson, 
And we want to again encourage you, everybody that's in Ferguson, especially come out and vote. And uh, and uh, uh, we are supporting a uh, third ward candidate, Lee Smith. So on that note, follow our brother Anthony Shaheed. Okay, let's go, y'all. Line up. So we'll get these caskets and let's line up. Take our time. <laughs> You can't stop the revolution! You can't stop the revolution! We are 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 the revolution!
Let's start in. Slow down a little bit. Don't shoot! 
Yeah, Not the bridge is where we going. Right, we'll but I want to yeah, take a group picture. How do we take this group picture, y'all? So Mike and I just get to <laughs> <laughs> oh, You don't tell us now, man. We're coming down.